Well, hello guys, Leather Show TV here, and I am doing the Spinjitsu Slam double pack. This is Spinjitsu Slam set 70684 Kai versus Samurai 164 pieces, ages 8 plus. There you can see Kai Forbidden Spinjitsu and Samurai there. And of course, this is an upgraded version of the one that comes in Fire Fang. So it is a little bit different than the one that comes in Fire Fang. And it is a brand new detailed torso and has, of course, the double sided face with one side angry and one side a little bit newer. So, yeah. Now, let's see what the back of the box is. And of course, you can see the back of the box with the features of the set. And now, let's take a look at it once it's built. Alright, so here's everything we get in Kai vs. the Samurai. And we'll start off with taking a look at the set itself. Alright, so here is the fire section of the set. And... We all know what you can do with these now. I've kind of drilled it in your head for the last few times that I've even got bored in saying it so much that I didn't know if I was going to even review this set because I had said it so much now. But yeah, you know what to do with it. You put this little thingy on the bottom of it. You attach it in there. You hit the little thing and it does the spin. And you can also, if you feel like it, put this in there, attach it, and of course, watch it fail because it's on a studded surface. you can do it like this too. Okay, that did a little bit better. But yeah. And then you've got this fire stand thing with the ice guy's staff. So, yeah. That's about it. It kind of feels like Chima again. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. This honestly feels like Chima again, a little bit, kind of. So yeah. Now let's go on and take a look at Kai. Here is the man, the myth, the ninja, and the legend behind the ninja, Kai, master of fire in his forbidden spinjitsu robes energy form round two because we totally didn't just get that we, we totally just didn't get that there yeah we totally just didn't get that there anyone see the uh, similarity yeah this one without the power up form suit thing but yeah so you can see torso detailing leg detailing facial detailing and then the back head detailing and back torso detailing so yeah that is about it for Kai I just want to address real quick the missing piece in this the reason there is a missing piece is because when I was building it, it apparently got stuck in the bag. And by the time that I realized that, the bag was already gone. So, that's why there's a missing Nexo Knight sword piece. So, yeah. Just so you guys know, I didn't accidentally just leave it out on purpose or by coincidence. Or anything like that so please don't yell at me in the comments but yeah it doesn't matter I could take all these out and it be still pretty good 
It's not going to affect how the gameplay is in any sort of way. You just put it in there. And if it wasn't on a studded surface, it would do ten times better. And then you put this in there. And, and yeah. And then, of course, you can put that in there and so forth. So, yeah, that's about it for that part of the review. Now, let's take a look at the samurai. Alright, so here is the samurai. There you can see his leg detailing and his facial detailing. And we take it off. You can see the torso detailing. And then the back detailing. And so that's basically it for the minifigures and the set itself. And of course it does, the figure does have a back head detailing. Back head print. So yeah, now let's go on to the ratings for the set. Alright, so on to the ratings for the set. I am just going to be fair. I am tired of having to repeat the same gimmick over and over. So if in some of the parts of my reviews, I feel like, oh my goodness, I'm repeating the same thing over and over. And it's kind of unusual for me to be in my reviews. I'm sorry, but these sets are repetitive. I really like the minifigures and the concept is a cool, neat try. But it, it just really... It was the same for the legacy Spinjitsu things. These. And the time before that, the Lego Ninjago movie ones and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm not trying to like sound like totally out of it or anything. But that's just uh, my personal thing is these sets. They, when they're all the same concept and stuff it just really gets repetitive and that's the whole problem with this uh wave sadly i had to uh say that there's a problem with it and stuff like that but i really like the minifigures the concept is great you get a 10 out of 10 on that one but just the repetitiveness I'm going to give this set a 9. And so, yeah. Um, you guys can probably agree with me that this wave is a little bit repetitive like all the other waves. But yeah, great minifigures, great concept there. But just repetitiveness. And yeah. I would quit duplicating multiple sets over and over. Just think of something new that you haven't done by now. So, yeah. That's about it for this review. I know I sounded a little bit ranty and stuff. But, yeah. Uh, this is my last review of it for... La or last review for these... Forbidden Spinjitsu Tornado sets that are individual. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.